I am so sick and tired of TLC and their absolute nonsense, okay? Their extreme cheapskates is 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 buckus. It's it's stugats. And I'm tired of it. TLC, the producers have gone too far and it's gone on too long, and I've had it right up to here. Not up to here yet, because I still gotta finish this video right here. After this video, it'll be here. But you you get what I'm saying. Nobody shares dental floss, okay? No one's washing their clothes in a hot tub to save 15 cents on their water bill. Nobody is reusing their mouthwash to try and budget when they live in a $600,000 house. I am sick and tired of the lies! And it makes no sense. I read recently that the subjects on these shows, on the Extreme Cheapskate show, don't get a dime, zero dollars, they get nothing. So TLC is using these people, making them out to look like absolute loser idiots, collecting a fat stack of coins, cause it gets hella views, and these people, Nada. Are people really that fixated on 15 minutes of D-list fame that you're willing to let TLC come in there, tell you what to do to make yourself look like an idiot, compensate you nothing, and then, and then what, your show airs and you get to, Tell your friends you were on TV and they watch it and they're like, you know what, we're gonna, I'm gonna take a break. I don't think we should be seeing each other very much anymore. I don't get it, but with all that being said, let's take a moment to watch this cook a lasagna in the top rack of her dishwasher. <laughs> I do believe that laundry detergent does run a scam on people. I learned how to conserve my detergent by my method at work, drawing blood. The measurements are very precise. So she uses a syringe to measure the laundry detergent. Not the most unbelievable thing I've seen, and maybe she's got the supplies lying around because it sounds like she's a practitioner of some sort. If you think laundry detergent in a syringe is gonna let you retire a few years early, I'll let you have this one. Gonna save this. Is that dryer, is that bags of dryer lint? I collect lint from the dryer, first off, because it's clean. Secondly, I don't have to buy cotton swabs. I'm using the lint right now to apply my compact powder on my face. It shades it out very good. Just as if a cotton swab. Using dryer lint to apply cosmetics to save money on cotton swabs, eight out of 10 for creativity. I'll let you have this one too. If the clothes have been dried and ran through the washer and they've been washed, therefore the lint is clean itself. Stop her when she's not spitting facts. Stephanie has countless money saving tactics. By using just one light bulb that she moves from room to room. Pardon me? Saves more than $60 a month on her electric bill. <laughs> Fuck off! All right, you got me, TLC. You tickled my taint a little bit with the syringe full of detergent and the cotton swabs replaced with the dryer lint, thinking maybe this is an actual episode, a real one, and you expect me to believe that she uses one light bulb in her whole house that she carries around from room to room and saves 70 bucks a month on electricity? This show is bullshit! Hey, Steph, you ever uh, heard of a light switch? You got one there on the wall right behind you. It serves the same purpose as taking the bulb out of the socket. You just and the light turns off. Fucking nonsense. All right, now before we go on, you know we got some partners here on the Leon Lust channel to keep that bread on the table. That's why I got Neckbeard Leon on deck to talk about one of my repeat sponsors, ExpressVPN, Neckbeard Leon. If you could take it away for me, please. ExpressVPN remains my virtual private network of choice. It's hassle-free, it's fast as hell, and it protects your internet experience wherever you're connected. In addition to keeping my data secure, I use it to circumvent pesky geo restrictions when I'm surfing the web or streaming shows. Services like Netflix, which are more popular than ever right now, have different shows depending on what part of the world you're from. So if you want to stream Doctor Who, but you're located in the United States, you can. Unless, of course, you fire up ExpressVPN and connect to a UK server, and then just like that, shazam! You're back to quarantine binging with your slippers on. Hulu, Prime Video, YouTube, the list goes on. And it doesn't matter which device you're connecting from, because ExpressVPN has an app for that to make your life easy. Listen, it's less than seven bones a month, and you get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you got nothing to lose so find out how you can take back your internet freedom today by using my link in the description that's expressvpn.com slash leon lush to see how you can get three months free that's expressvpn.com slash leon lush thank you expressvpn for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for supporting the channel appreciate you she has a good job she works at a doctor's office she does oh. have a lot of money saved up she doesn't want to spend oh she's got a boyfriend nothing. patrick this is ridiculous but i do it because i love stephanie so 
This is another glaring sign that this show is absolute nonsense. You expect me to believe that Stephanie's dateable? And not only that, but that Patrick is willing to carry a light bulb around from room to room? You, you, you want me to believe that Stephanie's p is so good that he's going to bring a light bulb around with him from room to room to save money on electricity? Go f yourself, TLC. In our house, we have what we call Navy showers. I'm not allowed to take long showers because Stephanie wants to save water for the water bill. <laughs> hold, hold on a second. I go in, turn the water on, reach my body off. Oh, they gotta be somewhere out here. Nope. Cut the water off. Lather your body down. Make sure you get every area so you don't miss anything because you can't come back to it. Turn it back on, reach the soap off my body. And get out. I don't really get to watch my full body. Like, I'm a grown ass man. I should be able to just get in there and take a manly shower. Turn it off! To keep her water bill down, Stephanie found a way to make sure Patrick sticks to a two minute shower. Right now, Patrick! Okay! <sighs> Stephanie has a baby monitor. I can still hear you. Damn. All right, I have looked everywhere for Patrick's balls, and I can't seem to find them. I just know that they are not between his legs. This is my reusable boiling water. Oh, yes, hell no. It may be a little chunky, but it saves me from spending more money on my water bill by cutting on the water and putting more water in the pot, dumping it, and then doing it all over again. So hey. it saves my water. Lunch time. Come on, let's eat. You gonna eat all your food? Yeah. Well, whatever you don't eat, I'm gonna say. Mama, why is there cottage cheese in my pasta? Poor. If it doesn't get all drunk up, I pour it back. If it doesn't get all slopped up, I put it back in its container. Oh, I have no doubt that you have no problem slopping it up. Now I know why Patrick stuck around this whole time, because not a damn thing's going to waste. What's the point of being so cheap, or I understand that it saves, but like, She's been too cheap. Maybe if you remembered to turn off the lights, Patrick, you wouldn't have to carry a single bulb with you around the house. There's no room in Stephanie's world for extra expenses, including entertaining guests. Patrick really wants to have a football party. I am very unhappy about people coming over to our house. Well, Stephanie, you are in luck because Uncle COVID just made not having guests over the new norm. <laughs> I really begged her. I have people over and to be honest with you, like, hands and knees. Having people over to the house means Stephanie's pockets are getting dug into. Absolutely pathetic. Hands and knees, Patrick, really? That is some beta bullshit. You need to think smart about who you're going up against. You wouldn't use a fireball against a boss who's resistant to fire. No, you would exploit their weakness with an ice bolt or a Frost Nova. And you know your girl's weakness is being a cheap prick, so spend a day stacking some coupons, put them in an envelope, and bring those to the table when you go in for the ass. Hey honey, can Bill come over for 60 minutes so we can share a small bag of Frito-Lays and watch the game? I promise he'll be gone by halftime. By the way, here's a coupon for 15% off detergent. Boom, just like that, you and Bill are high-fiving the touchdowns. He's still gotta go by halftime though. That was part of the deal. God, I'm so tired of having to figure people's life out for him. I'm just not with the whole people coming over thing. This football party is throwing my monthly budget way off course. It's not a touchdown for me. God, imagine having to let your partner enjoy even a small moment of their life, even if it means you have to show just a modicum of selflessness. Talk about a drag. When I buy fruits and vegetables, I want to pay for what I eat, not for what I don't eat. There's no need to pay for the vine if all I'm eating is the grapes. My bananas, I'm not going to eat the whole of the banana. I eat the banana itself. By removing the peels, pits, and stems from fruits and vegetables before they're weighed at the register, Stephanie saves up to $3 per shopping trip. Listen, I'm not even mad about that one, all right? When I'm getting a salad from the salad bar at Whole Foods, I just pull out my shirt and make the salad right on that bitch and then dump it right on the scale. You think I'm paying for that ratchet-ass recycled box that the salad's supposed to come in? If it's not going in my stomach, it's not going on the scale. I ain't paying for that shit. I have never seen anyone peel bananas and put them in a basket. That is weird. It's called frugality, Janet. Learn about it. Also, nice shirt. Give me a second. I have never seen anyone 
peeled bananas and put them in a basket. That is weird. Nice. <laughs> By any chance, if you have any other ground beef that's already left over? It's all sold. We sell it on a daily basis, fresh, all the time. Okay, and so there's nothing that would expire? Oh, no, man. We don't, to expire? No, man. We don't sell expired product here. It's not a loaf of bread, Stephanie. You cheap prick. Can I see what your beef fat looks like? Well, it is uh, in season, so for this beef fat, Priceless. Take a hike. Two dollars and fifty-three cents, ma'am. I will take the beef fat. You'll take the beef fat. I'm satisfied with that. By supplementing the meat with the beef fat, Stephanie saved seventy-five percent on the ingredients for her lasagna. Well, that's gross. This is why we save the sauce. Mm -hmm. Now to save money, I multitask with washing dishes and cooking meals with my dishwasher. I'm sorry, come again? And cooking meals with my dishwasher. I'm sorry, I swear you said you cook meals in your dishwasher. I must have I must have heard wrong. With the dishwasher reaching a temperature of 170 degrees, the lasagna will be fully cooked in one and a half hours oh. without using the additional gas of an oven. Oh, okay. I might put these dishes uh. in here while I'm Fish, hot dogs, Lasagna, I'm telling you, I do it all the time. Hey, girl. Hey, Mr. Adrian. How you doing? You know what they say, it's not a party without a dishwasher lasagna. <laughs> Come on. Hey. This is, this is the second time you did that. I gotta send money for electricity. I'm sorry. I have to. I have to turn it off when it's a commercial. No, we ain't having this. I'm sorry. No, we ain't having this. I having this at all. See, this is when you know the producers are being extra with forcing them to do stuff. Nobody would care if we turn it off during the commercials. Everyone's gonna be on their phone anyways. No one would give a single shit. Stephanie's very cheap. Cheap person I've seen in a long time. I'll tell you that much. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Can I use the I thought the walking around with the candle was really insane. I think we can use some light. Listen, if you're having guests over and you're gonna stick to the one light bulb routine, you gotta be able to share the wealth a little bit. Let poor girl take the light bulb to the bathroom. You don't want her pissing all over your toilet seat. Although, if I'm being honest, using the bathroom in the first place is a little bit of a privilege, all right? If this was me and I was trying to save money, I would make all of my guests shit in a plastic bag and take it with them on the way out. I ain't trying to get that water bill pumped through the ceiling because people are flushing after a little piss. Missed opportunity here for Stephanie to save on the water bill. Not impressed. <laughs> Of course. That's good, right? To be cooked in a dishwasher? The lounge tastes like water. W A T E R. The what? The lounge tastes like water. The lounge? The lounge. Okay. W A T E R. Water. Nasty. Very embarrassing. Very. Like, ugh. Nope. People are like, what the heck? She's pretty cheap. I get the utmost satisfaction being the cheapskate that I am. It's for me. I bet and it is. my family, wow. not anybody else. I don't care what nobody says. It was the Stephanie way, and the Stephanie way is the better way. Just a, just a all around likable girl. Just a real likable girl. She's not a cheapskate. She's just nasty. The ultimate cheapskate has the most expensive thing in her house. Children. Oh, God. Oh, oh, yeah, that, that one hits home with me. The second she let Patrick dump a load in her, all of her money-saving efforts became completely irrelevant. He needs to take those kids and leave. This is disgusting. <laughs> These comments, man, everyone's just so mortified. And, like, yeah, obviously the producers make them do all this stuff. People that have been on the show talked about how the producers ask them to do all this bullshit that's not even true to make it ridiculous. So... I mean, people can get outraged, but why Why do these people want to be on the show in the first place? What do they have to gain? They don't make money. They look like fools. I don't get it, but I do. Uh, you, but now, since it's over, I've had it up to here with Extreme Cheapskates, TLC. If I see you, it's on site. Red a tat tat, mother Anyways, guys, if you don't mind signing my change.org petition to cancel TLC, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you could, ow! Hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. I would appreciate, I would appreciate, son of a bitch. Learn to talk, Leon. I would appreciate that even more. Thanks for watching. Be sure uh, to subscribe if you haven't. I would greatly appreciate that. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe, and staying non-COVID-19. Good Lord, what a time to be alive. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.
Do you?